June is soon coming to a close. With that comes July. Today, we'll be discussing sneakers to resell in the month of July. If you're not into reselling, that's okay too. You could use this guide to know what are going to be the most hype sneakers, the most limited, or even what popular general releases may potentially go on sale because, hey, we're all trying to save some money. Specifically, we'll be discussing the name of the sneaker, the retail, the release date, and whether the sneaker will be profitable or not, or if they may even sit on shelves, resulting in a sale price. Feel free to subscribe and enable post notifications. This way, you stay 100% updated on all these profitable releases. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter for urgent updates and info, KeithAdam10, such as the recent shock drops we've seen. And for early information before these drops occur, you could join Endurance for a limited time with the link in the description below. Kicking it off with the first for $110, we may be seeing the Dunk Low Clear J drop. Currently, some of the sizes on GO are already listed around $150, and like most recent Dunk Low releases, I wouldn't expect anything too special for these. Nonetheless, there should still be sufficient demand for lunch money with a poor margin in large sizes, especially if you have no tax in your state. Also on the first for $150, the AJ1KO Field Purple will be dropping. While these might carry more demand than some AJKOs because of how similar Similarly, they look to the extremely limited Spider-Man Jordan ones, I'd still expect these to be just personals. Also on the first for $150, the A6 Gel Kayano 14 will be dropping in a colorway that looks very close to the recent JJJ collaboration we saw. For that reason, there might be potential for brick profit with a very poor margin and large sizes if you have no tax, but otherwise just personals because they are sadly not an actual collaboration. Then on the third, and also at some retailers on the seventh, the Ja One Ember Glow will be dropping for $110. Large sizes should hold up for lunch money with a poor to subpar margin. Nothing crazy, but an opportunity nonetheless, thanks to that low retail. Moving on to the 6th for $230, the metallic red foam posit will finally be returning. While this iconic colorway actually has decent demand, unfortunately, their potential is ruined by that very high retail that we always see on foam, so I would have to still say personals only. Then on the 8th, for $160, the Jordan 2 Low UNC will be dropping. Unfortunately, Jordan 2 Lows don't carry good demand in general, and these are $10 more than usual. However, if there's any colorway that might have potential for lunch money in large sizes for Jordan 2 Lows, it would probably be this UNC colorway. At the moment, I'm even skeptical of that but we'll see as we do approach the release. For now, I'll say personals only, unless you have local buyers and no tax in your state. Then on the 11th, for $130, the Jordan 2 Luca 2 Luke AI will be dropping. While I don't expect great demand for these, retail is only $130, and based off of what we have seen on Jaws, maybe these have some brick potential. Maybe these have some brick profit potential, but I'm even skeptical of that as of now. If anything, maybe demand in Europe will be better. As of now, I'll say personal only, but I will would keep an eye on these as we do approach the release because that may change. Then on July 13th for $200, we may potentially see the Jordan 12 Brilliant Orange drop, but I think they may actually be delayed. Regardless though, whenever they do end up dropping, I'd expect these to just be personals and you might even be able to grab them for below retail if you wait for a sale. And the same goes for the Jordan 6 Craft, which will be dropping on the 15th for $200, but I believe these actually are delayed too. We'll see, of course. Regardless, personals only whenever they do end up dropping, and you might even be able to grab them on sale if you're patient. Also on the 15th for $200, the Jordan 7 Chambray should be dropping. Like most 7s, I would expect these to be personals, and you might even be able to grab these on sale if you're patient as well. Now. Jumping to the 21st for $130, the Born and Raised One Block at a Time SB Dunk Low will finally be dropping. Expect these to be extremely profitable with an incredible margin full throttle. It would be really cool if we got to see some kind of Nike sneakers hunt for these, similar to what we saw on the SB Dunk Run the Jewels and the other recent dunks, which were scratch drops. As always, for those types of shock drops, follow my Twitter, KeithAdam10. This way, you guys get notifications instantly whenever they do go live. And for early information, with all details before the shock drops actually occur, Endurance always has your back. You could join with the link in the description. Of course, Endurance offers so much more than just early info and plugs, so I really encourage you to take just one minute to peruse the website and even success posts on Twitter, because it does go far beyond just sneaker reselling too, and this is certainly the time to try to broaden your horizons as a reseller. Then on the 22nd for $180 in men and $140 in grade school, the Jordan 1 UNC toe will finally be dropping. While stock on these is supposed to be very high, demand should also be very high, considering they are a UNC 
colorway. Hence, I would still expect these to be profitable with a decent to good margin, bigger sizes being the best. Unfortunately, I wouldn't expect anything crazy on these due to the very high stock, but a great opportunity overall nonetheless. Now, moving on to the 26th for $140, the Jordan 1 Low UNC to Chicago will be dropping. Of course, I wouldn't expect the lows to do any better than the highs, those of which initially bricked, so I'd say personal only for these two. Then on the 28th for $140, the Jordan 1 Low Black Toe will be dropping. These on the other hand might actually have potential for lunch money with a poor margin in large sizes since this is an iconic colorway and we haven't seen the highs in quite a while. We'll see though. Then on the 29th for $200, we may potentially see the Jordan 12 Field Purple drop. Like most 12s, I'd expect these to be personals only too. And also on the 29th for $200, we may potentially see the Jordan 3 Palomino drop if they don't get delayed. Regardless, whenever they do end up dropping, I'd expect these to be personals only. Now also dropping in July, without a precise date as of now, is the Supreme Nike SB Dunk Low Ramal Z for $130 and the highs for $140. Expect the lows to be very profitable with an incredible margin, full throttle. On the other hand, the highs won't have nearly as much demand combined with a higher retail, but nonetheless, I'd still expect there to be lunch money potential with a subpar to decent margin, especially on larger sizes. These might be dropping as early as the first week in July, but we'll see. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated, so make sure to subscribe and enable post notifications. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Remember, you can now join Endurance for a limited time with the link in the description. And you could also purchase Gargantua with the link in the description for a limited time or join the free trial waitlist. We just added an auto checkout module for drop NFTs, which are frequently profitable with pretty solid margins. So I'd encourage you to check it out. With that said, though, have a fantastic rest of your day and good luck on all these upcoming releases.